Hello and welcome to Get to Know Science. This video is about covalent bonding. So there are two types of bonding. There's ionic and covalent. Ionic bonding was covered in a previous video and it involves a metal atom donating one or more electrons to a non-metal atom. And covalent bonding, on the other hand, occurs between a non-metal and a non-metal. And it involves the sharing of electrons thereby forming a strong bond. So here's an example. Here we have two hydrogen atoms. Both of them are non-metals, of course, and both of them also need one more electron to fill their outer shell. So hydrogen only has one electron, so this is the first shell which can hold a maximum of two electrons. So they both just need one more in order to have that full outer shell which they want. Now when they both share their electron like this, they both effectively have two outer electrons. And this forms the H2 molecule, the hydrogen molecule. And it can also be represented like this. And that shows the single covalent bond. That line in between shows the single covalent bond, which is that shared pair of electrons. Now let's look at two oxygen atoms because that's a little different. So, uh, of course, we only draw the outermost shells and one of them we represent with crosses and the other one we represent with dots. They both need two more electrons to form a full outer shell. So oxygen has six outer electrons, so it needs two more to make eight. So each oxygen atom shares two electrons instead of just one. And this is called a double covalent bond because there are two pairs of electrons involved. So it forms O2, that's the oxygen molecule, and it can also be represented like so. And this shows the double bond, the double covalent bond. So here's a couple more examples. Here's water, H2O, so this is H2O. We start off with two hydrogen atoms and an oxygen. The oxygen needs two electrons to fill its outer shell and the hydrogens each need one. So what happens here is you have a shared pair of electrons here and a shared pair of electrons here between the oxygen and the two hydrogens. And this can be represented like so to indicate the two single covalent bonds. Last example is methane. So methane is CH4. So you have four hydrogen atoms, each with their single electron. They each need one electron to form a full outer shell. And then you have your carbon, which has four electrons in its outer shell and it needs another four to complete that shell. So what it looks like is this. We form around the carbon, we form four single covalent bonds and the molecule drawn out, this is a structure diagram, would look like this. Now what I'd like you to do is pause the video and have a go at drawing HCl. So that's hydrogen chloride. Have a go at drawing that and press play once you've drawn it. So you'll notice that I didn't draw in the electrons and that was on purpose. I wanted you to figure out how many outer electrons each one has. And if you don't know how to do that, make sure you watch my videos on atomic structure. Now the hydrogen only has one outer electron. I'm going to I choose to draw 
uh, an X across for hydrogen and for the chlorine I choose to use dots so um, chlorine is in group 7 so it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 outer electrons now what does that look like as a molecule so hydrogen needs one to complete its outer shell and the chlorine needs one electron to complete its outer shell so they can share they can each share one electron and those shared electrons end up here forming a single covalent bond and then the rest of chlorine's electrons will be as they were in the shell so from hydrogen's perspective it has a full outer shell because it has two electrons in its shell from chlorine's perspective it has one two three four five six seven eight electrons in its outermost shell so it is effectively a full outer shell for each of these two and that's what the covalently bonded HCl molecule would look like. Okay, so that was just a quick video on covalent bonding. Remember, if you like the video, make sure you like, comment and subscribe and make sure you share with your friends. The video might help them as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.